Greetings friend, how are you doing today? I have one question for you today. One question. Do you ever have a song that when you hear it, a song or maybe a movie, when you hear the lyrics, you like, why did they say that? That's kind of so weird. Perhaps it's a childhood song and then later on in life, you discover why they say something. Have you ever had that happen to you, uh, with you? It happened with me. Um, I grew up when I was learning English. I grew up in Indonesia. English not my first language. But when I was learning English, we were introduced to the sound of music. The quiet famous sound of music. So we would listen to the lyrics of the different songs in the sound of music. In particular, the sound of music, the theme song. And in the theme song, uh, it's very interesting in that in that theme song, one of the words, the, one of the lyrics says, to laugh like a brook when it trips and fall. And I actually remember, I can have it back in the pictures of my mind, sitting in this little class. It, um, it was an English class. Uh, in, it was in the evening. My parents would have me take this English class. And we listened to that and we're like, this doesn't really make sense. Why would you laugh? Why would anybody laugh if you trips and fall on your way? <laughs> Wouldn't you say that? Well, you like, and we were asking, asking the teachers. We like, we asked the teachers, and it's like, Miss, why, why is it love? What, what are they saying that? Why is love? And the teachers like uh, say something in the vicinity of, well, you know, it's just to make the rhyme goes well. But looking back, it's actually a very wise message in there. If you really think about it, um, do you think? Uh, because it's actually really, really good for us to laugh when we trip and fall in life. So even back in the 1950s, 1960s, before a lot of this Harvard and, and everybody else's uh, mind-body study and so forth, Apparently, the uh, Ma Ma Maria von Tripp and, uh, and Rogers and Hammerstein, all these people that wrote The Sound of Music, know that it is good to laugh when you trip and fall in life. Um, and later on, nowadays, studies have shown that laughter actually when you uh, particularly when you laugh when you are facing adversities when you are in pain laughter actually stimulates your body to release substance that will allow you to be able to tolerate pain better and to be able to keep going better and so it's actually what uh, the the brook when it trips and fall and it laughs it's actually a smart thing because then you'll be able to tolerate the discomfort and the pain and this week we've been um, sharing about failure and feedback is it failure or is it feedback? And yes, we understand, as the Edison says in his share, that, well, you know, it's, it, he did not experience 10,000 failures. He only has 10,000 feedbacks. And, well, that's wonderful and awesome. And yes, that failure, whether your failure, um, so-called failure, is you fail with your uh, New Year's resolutions or you fail with something else, then we might want to ask, well, what is it that um, the message in there, what, what is uh, the feedback that life trying to tell us? Is it, uh, is it really perhaps? Perhaps you don't have strong enough desire and so all these things are testing you. But at some point, some feedback or failure just plain all sucks, right? I mean, have you ever had feedback that you're like, I'm going to pretend I don't hear this or that is so hot, that's such a, a, a feedback that it's just make me upset, make, make me sad or, or something. And some failure, the feedback is just plain all unpleasant. And what would you do in that situation? Well, 
definitely one of the things that you can do is absolutely to laugh because as counterintuitive as it seems to laugh when you trip and fall it's actually allow you to feel better it allows you to relax and when you are able to relax you'll be able to access uh, to evaluate the whole situations better because when you relax you'll be able to think more clearly and the same thing when you are able to tolerate your pain which laughter also allow you to um release substance from in your body to help you tolerate pain when you're able to tolerate pain better naturally you'll be able to hang on one more day and then you'll be able to think more clearly and and come up with the solutions the answer the next step to what life give you as feedback and so it's actually really is a good thing for for you to be able to laugh to laugh at your life which I uh, we shared yesterday uh, with of Mandino's book the greatest salesman in the world and it's just not just about sales actually not just about business but it's about way of life such that you can create a uh, you can create a great thriving life and um, and one of his lessons is I will laugh at the word I will laugh at myself and I will laugh at the word when things are happening because I know that these two shall pass and now we know that in addition that these two shall pass whatever the uh, undesirable unpleasant feedback that you might receive from life or yourself or anybody that we you also know that studies has repeatedly shown the benefit shown the benefit of laughter in multiple different ways and so it's actually really really important for you to be able to laugh when things are so unpleasant and that will allow you to be able to actually shift your energy and um, when we rem remember about the vibrational energy chart here uh, how the universe flow how the universe always flow in um, the, uh, the higher vibrations, grief, sadness, apathy, guilt, shame, all these are in this area in the lower vibrations, in the yellow and red uh, zone, uh, where things doesn't flow and you're, uh, you will feel stuck in your adversities, while if you are up here when, when you are laughing, when you, are, when you have fun, you will feel joy and you might even feel more love and this is where the, um, the higher vibrations here is when things happening. And so allow yourself to laugh, to laugh and you can even say that now that you know that when you laugh you'll, feel, uh, you'll be able to thrive and survive better, next time life throws trouble at you, you can say to life, ha ha. I'm not worried now that you are throwing trouble at me because now I know that if I laugh, I will feel better immediately just as if is I have raised my middle finger at whatever throwing troubles to me and I will feel better, I'll be able to, to, to relax, I'll think more clearly and I will be able to very soon benefit from this feedback and triumph and thrive a whole lot easier and so i invite you to join me to practice laughing at things and at everything including at uh, sometimes if you do something that you can't perceive so do it, you did something silly something goofy or um, actually seek out seek out things that will lighten your mood and allow you to laugh please uh, in, in, join me if you like to and share in the comment below um if you have a one one or two liner that you know and you find it very reliable to help lighten your mood and you don't mind sharing it with us because that way it will benefit and allow uh, other people to allow F each and every one of us to win as well uh, please share in the comment below if you ever practice laughing uh, to practice laughter that will to allow you to be able to 
actually help you receive uh, achieve your result even better and easier and please feel welcome to share your feedback in the comment below and this is Burjit with from grieving to joyful living and I see that as you learn to laugh at your situations particularly if it is an undesirable one you will feel a lot more ease and a lot more joy and you will create a wonderful thriving life with a lot more ease and a lot more fun and i see that you are thriving and wonderfully successful in your life and i I congratulate and kudos to you for allowing yourself to laugh and laugh even more and I look forward to see you again very very soon seeing nice big smile on your face and laughing heartily and I see you again very very soon.